What's going on, y'all? So in today's video, we're going to be starting a new sort of series on the channel where we build teams with some of my fellow content creators. So trying to share the love, spread the love, and get the homies in building some crazy teams with me. This first team that we're going to be starting the series with is a team built with my good friend and fellow content creator, XCZachX20. Um, so if you do not know Zach, very good friend uh, and fellow content creator, we have done a few collaborations before, but not necessarily in like a team building way, kind of like we've just faced each other a few times and, you know, we, we like to bounce ideas off of each other, but you know, I just think it'll, it will be fun to start building teams with people and uh, trying to get you guys some a bit more off meta looking things going. So we do actually already have another video with Zach with a uh, Scarf Torkoal team that me and him built together for his channel. So if you go to his channel, you will see the Scarf Torkoal team that we built. We will also be using it on our channel eventually, but definitely show Zach some love. I do want to say before we get into this video, uh, this is more of like a, it's the process of team building, right? So if you're interested in getting a feel for what goes through people's minds, like high level players' minds when they're building a team, these will be videos for you, right? You can watch us actively building our team and thinking about our calcs, right? But I do want to say that I kind of messed up this first video and I had the hotkey for stop recording on the wrong button and I accidentally stopped recording in the middle of it. So I kind of messed up the video, didn't do the Zach uh, as much justice as I would have liked to. So we only have about 10 minutes of our team building and then we will hop into something else. But I'm sure me and Zach will be you know, team building again in the future. So it's not like we have to worry about not doing Zach justice. Definitely check out his channel. Amazing friend, amazing content creator. And uh, let's just jump into it. But his voice might also be a little quiet. I fixed that in future collaborations. It's fine. But let's, uh, let's jump into it. All right. What's going on, y'all? So in today's video, we are doing something very special. I feel like this week I've been kind of trying to like invite my fellow content creators to team build with me um not because i'm lazy but because i think it's good to help each other grow our channels by uh giving each other exposure as well as when you kind of combine brain power it helps you build your skills as a player right because other people are just going to kind of look at how you play certain matches differently uh, than you do and also look at like inherent ideas for team building differently so you know con con collaborating with your homies is always good and so today with us here we have our good friend uh, XC Zach X 20 who has his own YouTube channel uh, I've been to a few regionals where we've been lucky enough to be able to get together and hang out and we decided to build two teams together if you go on his channel you will see a scarf torkel team building video which we will eventually be trying that team on this channel and today me and zach have got a pretty crazy looking tinkaton team to try but before we get into it uh i'll give zach a chance to just say what's up so feel free to say what's up Hey, what's going on, everyone? And one thing I want to say is that I think it's hilarious how we went just like a little crazy. Like we changed up one, like one mon on my channel, and then this team right here is going full, full crazy sauce. So I'm excited to see if we can get it to work. Yeah, no, for sure. This is this team basically goes back to an idea that I had at the beginning of Regulation D, which I definitely did not think was going to be like that good. And the original idea that I had was um, I wanted to do Swagger Mirror Herb with Grafii in order to give something a boost for Explosion 
and then you can bring in Slay King in the late game, and then, like, skill swap with Slay King, or do, like, Doodle Bob shenanigans or whatever. So we were looking at, um, Sableye and, uh, Sableye ideas instead of Grafii, and Zach mentioned that maybe we could do the own tempo Tinkaton. So the own tempo Tinkaton really helped us to like bring those two ideas together. Cause originally I kind of just thought it'd be funny to build a, uh, encore Gigaton hammer team, which I feel like a lot of people have been starting to talk about, not really like talking about it that much, but let's be honest. It is something you can do. You can encore yourself into Gigaton hammer and it will, uh, it will, you know, allow you to just keep using it over and over again, as they say. So, I am interested to see if we can do that. We don't, like, necessarily on this team have, like, super great ways of encoring ourselves into it besides Iron Bundle. So, technically, that's why... That's technically why Sableye would be good, right? So, if we really wanted, we could replace the Thunderous and the Iron Bundle spot with uh, Sableye. And we could say Sableye does speed moderation to some degree. It does fake out. It does encore. And it can also disable your opponent. So you could do like a full support Sableye to replace these two. And then you just have another slot to play around with. Um... The one thing is you would just also want to find a way to fit Swagger into that, right? So you could do the... Um, we're probably going to run what, what me and Zach have already worked out here. But I'm just going to show you, like, if we were going to use Sableye, we could do... Uh, what's it called? So we definitely want Swagger. Oh, it... Okay, well, never mind. It doesn't learn swagger. <laughs> you can you can go Grimmsnarl with swagger, and Grimmsnarl is se semi viable at the at the moment. Yeah, true. I think it just kind of defeats the purpose because the good thing about Sableye was that you don't have to Ghost Terra. True. Um, but you're right. No, that's we could technically do. Uh, we could technically replace Thunderous with, hold on, let's actually look at that really quick. So let's just go back to this really quick. So Grim Snarl learns, what was that move called? Swagger. So when Swagger, does it learn... Encore, no. So, no. so let's see if we can find a Pokemon that learns Swagger and Encore. It's it's very slim pickings because I I definitely feel like with the Prankster Swagger Pokemon, Encore, they, they really like divvy up like those those moves. Yeah, so it actually would have to be Grafii in that case. Um, which is kind of I guess why I originally had Grafii as an idea for that but um yeah we'll see we'll see if we want to replace thunderous or iron bundle with Grafii. but i feel like if you're replacing one of them you're scrapping the other as well for a better option so while i'm gonna stick with what we have first i am gonna make a second version of the team that has Grafii. And then we give Grafii Ghost Terra. We give it Swagger Encore Fake Out. Or technically we want... Or no, because we're not doing Slay King. We could do Slay King. I don't think we should. But if we really wanted to. This thing doesn't get Fake Out. Okay. Um, Let's give it a Grassy Seed or something. If not a grassy seed, we give it a focus sash. What do you think? Uh, doesn't this get super fang? Ooh, um, yes. 
I want to so, say if you're going like maybe like Super Fang and then like probably a poison move. That way you can attempt to hit those Rillabooms and those Flutter Mains for, for decent damage. Yeah. Do you think uh, Gunk Shot is okay to risk or should you just go Poison Jab? Uh, I think here you might as well go the Gunk Shot, you know? Yeah, um, so let's see. I don't think Grafii necessarily needs speed. So, interestingly enough, you might not actually need to run Focus Sash. We definitely want Prankster. Hmm. I think, I think you should try to hit that 150 speed with Grafii because you don't, like, say... The Thundies and the Tornadus aren't running max speed. Like, then you can outspeed them to at least get something off. Because you can't be taunted with Grafii. Right. Um. We could go to Peakalytics really quick and take a look at how much gunk shot damage we need. I don't know if it will affect um, what my screen is doing. So let's see. Let's go to. And then, yeah, I, uh, I, accidentally, I accidentally hit the stop recording button, like I was saying. But we decided to go max attack Grafii. And I don't remember how it lined up with the Rillaboom calc, but it was definitely useful for Flutter main. And the max attack gunk shot kind of does a lot of damage. So um, anyways, let me put on some battles and that's how we're going to end it. But yeah, sorry, it got cut short. We didn't do Zach justice, but we'll have him back on in the future. Um, so yeah, just give me a sec.